Why? Because I've been busy. Still like her. It's perfect for me. Yeah. Aren't you? Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. I know, what a random starting. I'm starting with my belly, LOL. So this cloth material was given to me by my doula and she showed me how to tie it so it kind of works as a waist trainer type of thing. And I've been, <laughs> I've been eating a lot lately. So I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Let me wear my little wrap waist trainer. <laughs> so I'm just putting it on right now. So if you guys can't afford a waist trainer or something, just get a long piece of cloth, wrap it, tie it, wrap it, tie it all the way up to your ribs. So it kind of looks like this and that's it. I have a lot of excess wrap, so I'm just gonna like tuck it in somewhere. And I'm gonna wear this for the day. So I have a bit of energy and I'm thinking I need to just finally change this headboard. This headboard, the leather was kind of falling apart. So I bought this kind of like suede material. So I'm just making Jordan help me take off this random blanket that was on the headboard. And we're gonna try to configure this um, other piece of material. So it's kind of thin. I think I probably need to put some sort of like padding, but that's okay, I'll do that next time. So for now, I'm just gonna drapes it over the headboard until further notice. Yeah guys, so I'm feeling so tired and I just hate having to even tell you guys that every single time, but I'm gonna go for a iron test today. So I wanna see if my iron lovers are, are low and if they are, at least I'll know what's going on. But then again, it could just be mom life. <laughs> Breastfeeding mom life, you know what I mean? And Makai has been waking up more at night and it's very annoying. <laughs> He's been waking up like three times a night and when he wakes up, he wakes up crying. And it's very annoying, <laughs> that's all I can say. So with that, I think it's been making me extra tired. But um, I'm trying to, I, I'm gonna actually, Put him on a more rigorous sleeping schedule because right now he kind of sleeps and wakes up whenever he wants type of thing like there's no real structure around his nap time but i'm going to go ahead and um make it very intentional like his nap time anyways i'm tired and it's break time i'm having a pineapple for lunch and you guys might be looking at the green part of the pineapple thinking it's not ripe it's ripe, believe me. Green pineapples are tender, juicy, super, super sweet. That's just the way it is. They do not need to be um, orange to be so, so, so delicious and sweet and juicy. So this is my lunch. And uh, don't worry guys, I'm not gonna give Bop Bop any. After last time's um, allergic reaction mouth episode, <laughs> Yeah. And here comes my assistant to help me eat. <laughs> now I'm finished my lunch. I haven't written in my notebook in so long, so I'm just gonna write down kind of like my monthly budget for the month of January, which includes um, Jordan's school fee, things like electric, um, water bill, transportation, and miscellaneous groceries. So I have an idea of how much I'm working with this month. Yeah. And then we gonna head out.
morning. So it's a new day and um, I'm ready to hit the road. Got a lot of things that I want to do today. Uh, mostly grocery shopping and getting stuff for the house. But I kind of just want to do it all now, get out of the way. And Mickey, just remember listening to him bark, he has to go and get a bath and cut his hair all the way down. I haven't bathed him in so, so long. It's really bad. So um, I'm going to drop him off. Then I'm going to go to the shop. I got to make some jerk sauce for Crazy Burger. And then um, just get a few groceries. I'm also going for a blood test. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I want to see if my iron levels are low. And, um, you know, just see how I can deal with that. Because I just feel really tired. Like, you know? And yes, I know I have a baby, blah, blah, blah. But I still just feel low energy. Like, you know, like in a non-balanced way type of thing. So um, that's what I'm going to do. And so... That's the first stop I'm going to make. And of course, Bob, Bob, you're coming with mama. Say hi. <gasps> you're going to, you're going to come with me? Yes. You're going to come with mama. Yes, you are. Yeah. So um, that's what I'm going to do right now. Yeah. So Jordan's just getting his clothes on because he's my little assistant. He brings the bag and holds the camera for me. <sighs> yeah, so um, so that's what he's gonna do. Look at Bob Bob, he's literally just like listening to me talk. He's just like, What is she talking about? I'm talking about you, Baba Baba. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Hi there, hi there, buddy. Look how big this boy is 20 pounds. 20 pounds. Yeah, you're so tall, Baba. You're so big, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. So um, that's basically it. So I'm gonna feed him and then we're gonna be outside, okay? So I'll see you guys when we are on the road. Okay, we're off, out in the streets. Ew, Mickey, um, can you get away from me right now? I don't like you right now. <laughs> A little bit, you know what I mean? So, um, I'm on my way to do the blood test, so we're gonna drop Mickey on the way there. Oh my god. You guys were laughing at me in the last video because, like, I was a bobblehead bobbling around. It's crazy in these streets. Um, okay, whoop, whoop, oh, peace. Whoop, whoop, wow! 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 wow, wow. wow. Wow! Wow, Bob, Bob. Are you okay? Oh my god. Don't worry, it's about to be smooth in five minutes. Mickey's so happy to be out. Oh, you. No, he's actually hot right now. That's what he's trying to do. Oh, he's hot. That's why he, that's why he wants to come up. That's why he wants to come up on those so he can breathe. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, yeah, and now I'm straight. So, also. Um, with Jordan, I want to um, see if I can find him some clothes before school starts next week. School starts on Tuesday, so I want to see if I can find him a few little, you know, items. Yeah. Okay, we're here. Come, huh, Mickey. <sighs> smells like dog in here. Oh my god, I need to grab dog food. This one looks expensive. Hi. Hello. I'm leaving my dog to get a wash and a cut. Do you want to sit down? Yeah, down, down, yeah. Where are you? Mickey. So I'll be back in about an hour or two hours. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. How much are these bags of dog food? Eight suits. Okay, all right, okay. Mickey, bye bye. Hi, Mickey. You want to everything down? Yeah, because I think he has some skin stuff and stuff, so I want to be able to see what it is. All right, so I'm leaving. Jordan, pick him up. Mickey. Mickey. Just pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. No, no, exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, we got to go, so give him over. How are you? 
Mm. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> right All now, right. see how he's going. <laughs> yeah, right? All right, so I'll see you. Okay. So we're done. So um, I can't get my my phone to work to order a bolt. So um, we're just walking well, for a little bit because see the video before you edit it and just come to this location. Hold on. Hold this. Bop Bop is look. Look at Bop Bop. Jordy never told me that he's like lopsided. Hold this. How? What? Yeah, look at him. He's like. Oh, one strap is messed up. Gotta put this right in the middle. Like this. This strap is messed up. Okay. Or maybe he was leading to the side. Yeah. Okay, hold the camera for me. I want to also give Bob Bob my hat. It's a little bit sunny out here. So, come on. Bob Bob. Let me guys, get my phone. Ray Bob Bob's here. I'm trying to figure out how to make my thing work. And then I saw this shoe. Put I don't want to be recorded from the back, though. You have to go ahead of me. Go ahead of me. Yeah. Thank you. Don't be too shaky now. Yeah, so um, there's a little shoe spot not far from here. So I'm going to see if I can get Jordan a pair of shoes. Just, just an easy, simple thing, you know? Just a shoe, just a bus at school type of thing. Right? Yep. Yeah. God, I'm going to... I feel like I'm going to be hustled. <laughs> They're gonna give me the Arboni price. Okay, Jordan, let's cross. Okay. Crossing the street like a cross the street. Crossing the street. Cross Jordan the, says cross his feet street. are the same size as mine, which is kind of crazy. Cause I wore I wore Yeezys, like she has these Yeezys, and they're actually kind of tight for me. Yeah. I want to go there so bad. Guys, remember, remember the old me? I never used to like school. I hated school. School was work, my worst nightmare. Oh my gosh, it's the same road that I always used to come up every single day. Hi. <laughs> okay, so we're at this like shoe stop. I'm just getting Judah, Judah, Jordan some beaters until I go to Toronto. Maybe I'll get him something else. Um, you like these Adidas with the cold? Oh yeah, they actually fit. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Oh God. Let me hear the price. Let me hear the price. Oh, Mm. Yeah. So, ain't, ain't saying, let me hear this. Give me the right price. Yeah, I'm giving you the right deal. No, no, give me the right price. Yes, I'm giving you the right deal. It's too if I give me 200. Yeah. Are you sure those are the right size though? They look, there's space in the back. But he said it's okay with it. Jordan. Yeah, it's quite okay. Not that much space. You know what? We're gonna put, we're gonna fix oh, this thing okay. inside. We're gonna take the lining from huh? here. You take, take this, you take this, then you fix the inside, it will be closer. Oh. Yeah. Still, I, I still know, I still like it. It's, if it's perfect for me. Yeah, you yeah. feel like, okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it feels yeah. like a Okay, if that's okay, okay that's fine. All right, I'll do it. Hey, big tunes. Rumors of war. Hey, big tunes going on, Jordan. What do you know about this? So we got your shoes, I'm so happy. You like them? I love them, they're perfect for you. So I'm now, um, I'm talking like I am bougie, what are you saying? I think we're going the wrong way, what do you think, sir? Are we going the right way? Is this the right way? No. So where we're we going? It's not, no. I don't know, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, or? All right, what do you think? Yeah, so, um, yeah, so we're on our way to the groceries. Um, oh, also, Jordan wants a pair of shoes and a t-shirt, a shirt. Hey, Dad, my boyfriend is coming over. I can't wait for you to meet him. Jordan just washes shorts all day long and forces me to watch them. Like, Oh, one thing. 
this morning random this morning i saw a video of abdul in this like dating site or dating meme or video i'm gonna let you guys look at it right now so we no, can all laugh no, together freaking like, no 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 mm. listen to abdul's voice no, guys listen friend. i'm putting it right here so have you been to ghana i actually go all the time i go quite frequently i'm, I'm really? actually gonna go soon okay in a couple of days i'm always over there really just like yeah. vibing out or like to go with family or something uh, no i actually do a lot of business over there really okay yeah. what do you do i'm actually um i own a, a fashion company oh that's dope yeah. oh that was lol very funny yes how much is that one 150 and then the big one is 250. okay so that's one gallon Okay, so give me that one. 150. Yeah. So I go through honey like crazy. So I'm deciding to just buy these really big things of honey. Jordan, where's my phone? What do you want? And um the price works out to be yeah cheaper than what I buy my honey for when I buy bottles and bottles and bottles. So this is definitely the best way to go. Just find a really big a really big tub. Yeah. Okay, um, thank you. Jordan, take the Momo number for me, please. What's the number? Okay, Becky? Yes, yes. Okay. All right, I've sent it. All right, thank you very much. All right. Mission accomplished. So now I got some honey. We got a few other things to get. And, yeah. So, guys, we are back at the store. I like it here. Wait, wait, wait. When I find a store I like, I keep coming. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thanks. Happy, um, New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah. Year. Me? Yeah. It has? Yeah. <laughs> really? I didn't see it yesterday. Oh. <laughs> Wait, Mom, can so, you take the camera for a second? I need to buy something. You need to buy something? Yes. What are you getting? Oh, okay. This is ice cream, though. Know. Oh, you're getting your this is the ice cream. fan ice and yogurt. Yogurt? How many are you getting? One. This one? I only have five cookies. Okay. Don't look to me. I ain't buying it. You can pay for it. Uh-uh. Y'all got your own money. Okay, so let me get what I'm getting because I know why I'm here. So we came home briefly because Mickey wasn't ready. So we just came home. Jordan is going to pack his bike in the back of this because he wants to get it fixed. But where is he going to sit? Because <laughs> he put the seat down. I regret this. So I just stopped off to get some dog food. Okay, Jordan, take this for me. My assistant. And these are hella expensive. When I first came, I thought they were like 300 or 200. So this big bag is like 700 this big bag is seven fifty, right? Dogs are expensive, Baba. Yeah. So I decided to just get the small bags of the dog food. So it's a little bit cheaper. I just can't spend that much on dog food right now. <laughs> Ow, Mom. Oh, it's sorry, baby. And while we're out here, we're making like a million stops. I'm trying to find Jordan some pants. So I find the kid stores are really, really, really expensive. So I'd rather shop at the adult fashion stores, but he's just too small for, for their smallest sizes, right? So maybe he's like a 28 or something like that. But maybe if I get a, a bigger size, I could even take it in if the price is right, you know? So we're just looking for some jeans for him right now. And yeah, we're sweating buff kids. Right, Bobo? We're sweating. Can you guys see Bop Bop sweat? Guys, look at that dogs across the street. Uh -huh. Alright, thank you very much. Look at the little puppies. Right. Can you guys see those little puppies? Hey guys, we're at the dog kennel. They're coming to pick up Mickey Mickey. It's the groomer, Jordan. The groomer. <laughs> Mickey! Mickey! <laughs> Mickey! Don't show him, it's gonna be one 
So crazy. Yeah. Beetle bites. Oh my dear. <laughs> so um, he's good. They shaved his hair all the way down. They didn't find any issues. I thought he was gonna have like some something, but he's good. So um, they're gonna give him the dewormer right now. I think it's like a pill. I almost fell back on this chair. Like it goes all the way back. Can you try this? Oh yep. God! Did you give it to him? Yes. All right. So there you go, boss. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll see ya. Oh yeah. Okay, buddy. Our driver's waiting. Come, uh, Jordan. You have to hold him because I don't want him to really run away. So let's pick him up. Good. Yeah. Hold him, buddy. Now, Mickey. Stop it. All right, now. Yeah. We're gone. <laughs> Finally, we're out of the heat. Mop up's getting a little rest. Oh no. It starts to move. Oh no. Oh no. He awakens. Oh, hi, baby. Are you up? Okay, so much for that. That was short-lived. Okay, come, buddy. What's up? What happened? You woke up already? So, guys, Bop Bop fell off the bed today. He fell off the bed between my side table and the actual bed. So he didn't actually touch the ground or hit the ground. He got, like, stuck, wedged between the bed and the, um, and the thing. Gosh. This was bound to happen. You know, as much as you say you're going to avoid your kid falling off the bed, somehow they fall off once. Comment down below if your children have never, ever fallen off the bed. Luckily, my bed is also very low to the ground. Maybe that's why it happened, because I don't feel as afraid, because the bed is not high at all. But still, you know, I'm sorry about Bob. So he got a scratch on his face because he fell between the bed and the um, thing. He's okay. As soon as I heard him, I just... Pulled him up by his leg. But he got a scratch on his face. I don't know if you guys can see. Right out there on his cheek. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Bob Bob. You forgive mommy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, whew. That was a long day. But I like to just get everything out of the way once a week. Like all the major stuff. And then whatever is left, I can take my time and just collect whatever I need throughout the week, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> the results are in. My iron test came back. Let's see. Reference. Okay, so the reference is between five point eight three to thirty four point five so I guess right now mine says nineteen hmm I guess that's fine right guys that should be fine oh I was really hoping it'd be worse because if it were bad then I could just know if I just add some iron to my diet I'd be okay you know so um, maybe 20 is an okay number. I don't know if it should be higher, if it could be higher, if it'd be better. So um, hmm, a little bummed. Yeah, I guess that's all right. All right, so I got to figure out something else. I got to take my blood pressure because I've had blood pressure, like low blood pressure for the past couple, well, now years. Right? But it's funny because the internet basically says that 
if you have low blood pressure, be grateful. <laughs> like, you should be happy about it. Or it's like, you know, it's not bad if you have low blood pressure, as long as it's not cert uh, below a certain number. But overall, like, it's one of those things that they don't really kind of push in terms of raising your blood pressure. You get what I mean? Like, there's, there's nothing on how to really raise your blood pressure. Like, it's very hard to find information about that. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, Papa. Hey, Papa. Okay, so back to the drawing board. Also, update on Bob Bob's pooing. He's been pooing a couple days a week because he's been taking his probiotics and his apple juice. And they say, like, apple juice and some juices will help the, um, the bowel situation. So I ran out of apple juice, so I hadn't been giving him his probiotics. And then I noticed that he hasn't really been pooing. But I think the probiotics are the key to winning this poo-poo battle for Bob Bob. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm just gonna sit here. Like, I've just been sitting here since I came in. Like, outside can be very exhausting, especially in the heat and carrying around a baby and all that. So, I need to sit down for like a good 45 minutes before I'm like rejuvenated. So, let me call you guys back. Okay, girl, here you go. So, Naomi's gonna feed Bop Bop his bottle of juice, his probiotic juice bottle. Why didn't you let me finish? Yummy. This is Nomi's shirt. It's a blanket. It's a blanket. So, um, thank you so much, Nomi. You're so helpful. You haven't seen Nomi lately because of, I don't know, why? Because I've been busy. Yeah, you have been. So, Naomi works in the house. Jordan works outside for me. He follows me around with the camera. Naomi works in the house. Right, Naomi? <laughs> I'm her little slave. What? Not little, mm, big. I'm big joking. Slow. <laughs> Guys, we're kidding. She's just, she's helping me how she can. So thank you so much, baby girl. So she's helping me right now. She bought Bob. Aww, look at you guys. So cute. Bonding. Anyways, me now. I've decided to stand up. The reason being is I am. Oh, I'm making myself some chili. I made myself a bunch of chili and froze it. Sorry, I made myself a bunch of chili and froze it. I think it's burning at the moment though, but so that obviously when I'm ready to eat, I don't have to resort to things that I shouldn't be eating. Yeah, so this is a vegan chili. Sorry guys. It's a vegan chili, you know, it has your vegan peas, it's made of quinoa, it has tomatoes, you know, all that type of good stuff. It's quite delicious. This is, <gasps> Ooh, almost slipped on my toe. Mmm, okay, mm -mm -mm. still tastes like chili. Mm. My chili is ready, you guys. Let me see if I can show you. That's my veggie chili. So I use navy beans and quinoa and, um, you know, tomatoes and all that type of stuff. So, bon appetit to me. Mm -hmm. uh, technically, I really shouldn't be having the bread, but can a girl live a little bit? Who's in the kitchen? Mmm. 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 You don't want to have some. You don't like it, okay? Because it's me. Mmm. 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 So I took a little close eye and I feel a little bit alive. So I'm just sitting here in the bed. I'm currently watching this Cat Williams Unleashed interview. It's crazy. Um, 
I believe him. I pretty much, I believe him. I really do, you know? So um, they've been trying to destroy Cat Williams for a long, long, long time. But good for him that he didn't let them. He didn't let them. Papa, what's all that noise you're making, huh? Yeah. So um, that's what I'm watching right now. What else? Oh, I realize that I think I'm going to have to incorporate exercise into my life because... Um, yeah, the tiredness, right? So maybe like a few squats here and there, some ab work, you know, just a little something to get my blood flowing will help with just the overall, my overall health and, and tiredness and stuff like that. Right, Papa? Come here, Bubba. Come here. Oh, Bubba, Bubba. Hi, Bubba. Look how cute you are. <gasps> Hi, Dada. Hi, Dada. Hi, Dada. Look at you. You look like an old man. Yeah. Yeah, guys. So that is pretty much all my life is saying, right? Boop, boop. All my life. Yeah. Um. Um. What else? I was gonna say something else. I was gonna say something, but um, yeah. I really need to outsource um some of my duties as a YouTuber, content creator. I really. Um, have this thing about doing things myself, you know, like it's good and bad because, you know, I know how I want things done that I want done. You know, I know how I want it. And sometimes it's hard to accept the way other people do things. And it just feels like I wouldn't do it like that if I were doing it myself. So sometimes you end up doing things yourself. Comment down below if you have this type of complex, you know, but then again, when you're trying to do jack of all trades and trying to be everything and everyone, you, you end up not getting anything done or not being able to do things to the fullness of your capacity. So it's as good as someone else doing it the wrong way, basically. So as much as I know that type of theory on paper, it definitely is hard to like apply, you know? So comment down below if you have that like complex, you know? But I was watching this um, Instagram page and it was so, so motivational. This guy was just interviewing people in the streets about what they do for a living and how they've accumulated how much money and how much money they've made a year. I was watching it and like, it was just so inspirational to me and I just kind of felt like a lot of people were saying they delegated tasks to a team, things that you know they didn't want to do, they just gave it to someone else to do. And that's the only way to scale you know, your business or whatever it is you're doing, you know? So, um, yeah. So that's basically where I'm at. Like I edit obviously myself. Jordan helps me, you know, a little bit upload and stuff like that. Um, and he carries a camera for me and stuff like that. So um, yeah, it gives me a little bit of help, but I think I need like a super robust team to really kind of go where I want to go, you know? So it's just a lot of things about myself that I have to change that is just hard for me to change because I'm just me, right? So changing yourself is always the most difficult thing, you know? even though you know it's necessary, but it's you. How do you change your persona? You know, like how do you change who you are at your core? It's, it's not easy, but it has to be done, you know? So pray for me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, yeah, that's pretty much all. So I'm about to go shower because I had a really um, sweaty day. <laughs> I'm about to go shower after I watch this video and I'm gonna call you guys tomorrow i'm gonna hit this hit the hay bop bop on bathe too because he be he was sweating yeah so we'll see you guys tomorrow or the day after in another vlog okay so thank you guys so much for your support hey girl we decided to be in the vlog oh hi hi so naomi got her lashes done um don't you guys tell yeah i got they're cute they're cute but um i think they could have been more exaggerated but that's okay because guess what? Naomi is gonna be a what is it? A lactician. A lactician. That's where people milk. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Naomi. <laughs> She's gonna be a um, lash tech. Tech. So there are tons of I courses mean, all the time here in Accra, teaching people how to do lashes, and I decided. I didn't even consent to the idea. I don't care. So she's gonna learn this skill, okay? So Naomi wants money and she wants things and this and that, and I said, look, you gotta be a business um, entrepreneur girl, right? So God revealed this to us today that you're going to learn how to do lashes and you're going to practice. You know, you don't have to charge a lot to begin with. You can practice on mommy, but it's a great skill to have. 
You can do it here, you can do it in Canada, you can do it anywhere in the world, right? It's something that, it's a skill that you'll always have for yourself and you can make money for yourself at all times. Excuse me? Kids are so... Blah, blah, blah. Imagine, I wish I had Why a mom. Why did you take so much I wish time my to mom. explain that? Like, that was way too long. We were talking for way, way, okay, way too Okay, well, long. you should have agreed to it sooner. Anyways, but um, they know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about. I wish my mom and my dad were, like, thinking like this when I was this age. You know what I mean? Womp womp. So, anyway, um, we're definitely going to pursue that. I'm really excited about that. Right, Naomi? You're right. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to see you later, okay? Bye, guys. Bye. Say bye, bop, bop. Bye, bye. Bop, bop, look. Look. <gasps> Say bye. <gasps> bye, bye. Say bye, bye. Lasso. Bye, bye. Bye, buddy. Lasso. Okay, bye.